Becky here with Nate's Wait, and this is Crossbeats Production. So this video is in response to a comment that I got on my channel asking me how I created the drums in this track. Uh, the drums that I played are actually played out through VST instruments and I've used all MIDI to create those drums. So it does sound realistic though and that's kind of the feel that I was going for and I'm, I'm quite glad that actually somebody commented on that because um, it was something that I put a decent amount of effort into to create the realism in the drums. Um, so I'll show you quickly how I did it. I don't want to make this video too long, but I definitely want to show you guys what I did to create the drums. I'll just quickly play the uh, the beat out with the drums in it and uh, just let you see what it sounds like. I'll just do the first two uh, sets of bars there. Okay, so that's pretty much the basics of the drums. I'll just uh, highlight the two things that are happening right now so you've got an understanding. So these these drums here in the chorus, man, that fly is so annoying. It's getting really hot in, in uh, Australia and we've got a lot of flies here, so I guess that's kind of what happens when, um, when it gets to summer. Anyway, I'm wearing a singlet, as you can see, because it's just too hot to be wearing uh, anything else. But I'll just uh, show you <laughs> fact, useless facts. Um, anyway, so the, the chorus drums pretty much have the realism uh, implied into them because of the way that I've played a couple of things into it. So I'll break down exactly how I did it, show you the, the keys to creating your own drums as well. It doesn't have to be using these kits, but uh, just give you an idea of how I did it. So first off, I'll show you the pattern in machine, which I started with to create the drums. Um, so it's pretty a basic pattern and um, it's actually out of a kit which is in a machine um, kit. I can't remember exactly which kit it came out of to be honest. Uh, but anyway, the kit's called Manchester Kit. So if you have machine and you've bought, well these are the kits that I have. So just so you know, if, if it's out of there, just type in Manchester Kit and you'll, you'll come across it. Um, anyway, so the kick is pretty basic. It's just um, pretty much on every every uh i guess hit on the on the bar um so it's straightforward kick like that snare is straightforward closed hi-hat just like that and a little perk it sounds like a snare kind of kind of thing like that and a, a crash or a ride symbol um, that ride symbol is pretty important because the ride symbol actually gives a lot of the realism to the track as well um, and the way that I've played out the ride symbol, it's not very, you know, technical or anything like that, but it's definitely there and it's kind of constant to keep that noise that the drums create when you have a ride symbol. Uh, the other thing I'll, I'll add to that is the, the velocities here, as you can see, I'll just move that up a bit. Um, the velocities are different, so they kind of vary between each, each note hit so that it creates more of a realism with the actual um, ride symbol itself, as if somebody was playing it and um, you hear that in the track anyway. So the next thing here, obviously these these kind of, I played that out in similar kind of structure. So to, to figure this kind of stuff out, I mean, to be honest, it's just by listening to the track and feeling out the stuff that, you, that you're trying to develop. Um, the main thing I kind of start with always, usually with my drums is the snare though. Um, once I've got a snare that I like the sound of, I'll stick with that snare and then I'll just create the rhythm with the snare. So say I was getting into my drums and I want to create, you know, the kind of tempo that I, I'm going with. Obviously you choose a tempo when you create a, a work uh, flow anyway. So this tempo is at 112, as you can see um, down the bottom there. And um, I got the snare and I just started playing with the snare and figured out where I wanted to sit. So pretty much it, it felt right on those notes there. Um, these flies would just go away. <laughs> um, anyway, so it sat right on those notes and I just left it at that, that kind of setup there. Really open kind of snare, not too much going on. But then when you get to the other parts with the closed hi-hat and the other perk, which is similar to a snare anyway, and the, uh, the crash, it kind of then starts to fill out the drums itself. So 
You know, if you just listen to individual um, clothes hi hat, I'll just play that out to you. Let me just turn these parts off as well. So as you can see, the 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 velocity increases as it goes up, and that gives it that realism. Because you would think of somebody hitting the the clothes hi hat with like one of those um, brass uh, kind of brush kind of hat, no, not hammer, but the um the brass kind of brush things they hit, <laughs> hit the drums with. I can't remember what they're called now. Somebody correct me in the comments because I'm not that big of a drummer. So um, like a brush kind of thing. Anyway, so. <laughs> Anyway, then the next perk thing is this this uh, perk here, which is kind of similar to the snare, but a bit more dull, like a dulled down snare, or almost like hitting the edge of the snare. And uh, the crash or the ride, which um, is quite a good ride uh, to create that realism. So if you can hear then, the next part of this is not in machine. It's actually in another plugin, which I've used. And I'll just quickly find it for you. So it's these two things here. And I'll play them out. Okay. So as you can hear, it's almost keeping the tempo going through the whole track. And I guess as a drummer, you would probably want to do that anyway yourself when you're, when you're using drums. You're, you're kind of keeping the tempo of, if you had like guitars or a piano or something like that, they're, they're, they're trying to keep to the tempo of the drums to, to create that rhythm. Um, so that's kind of what I did when I was thinking about this. I was thinking in the, in the mindset of being a drummer and trying to figure out how I would layer into the 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 tune how I'd layer certain things into it. So what I did was I used this thing called Abbey Road 60s drummer and I've basically just played out. This is if by the way if you're uh, looking for this you can get it on the Native Instruments website. Pretty sure you can buy this just on its own or if you have complete 8. I'm not sure if it's in 8 but it's definitely in 9 because I've got 9 and above um, it's definitely in there. So uh, if you've got an 8 that's fantastic. So anyway it's the Abbey Road 60s drummer and it has different kits, different um, I guess additives. You can change the snare and stuff like that to, to get a different sound. But uh, pretty much what I did with this was I just created two different tracks because you know you can actually let me just quickly show you this. You can go in there and, and start messing around with um, with the mixer and stuff and, and pan stuff around, but it's just a little bit fiddly for me. I just didn't want to get too much into it. So I created two of these in the light version. And the first thing I did was a, a single kind of hit there. Quite low volume, obviously, you can't really hear it. But if you look down here, you'll see there is a bit of noise going on. And that's just a minimal kind of hit right there. Low velocity as well. Then it moves across, and this is pretty much the chorus section of the track. Uh, so if I just play that out. Wait. There we go. See, it's just these two hits right there. They're really low volume. They're not impactful, but they're there to create that additional sound that you're looking for as a fill. Um, the next thing was with this kit here, um, you can see that's filling in the rest where the other one wasn't. And um, I'll just play that individually as, as its own. Okay, so as you can see, it's quite a simple kind of um, beat here that I've made. Pay attention though to the velocities down at the bottom. They're actually really low velocity except for these two hits here. And they are the ones that are creating that kind of, I guess, that closed hi-hat kind of sound. So when I did it... So 
so it's pretty much just using the notes like you can't see my keyboard right now but i just played those notes out so pretty much the 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 open sort of uh close what well, would be a, an open hi-hat and it's basically just opening with one note and then I can actually close it off with the drummer as well. So the cool thing about this um, this drummer feature is you can actually kind of play it like a real drummer would. So if you're pushing pushing down the pedal with the with the hi hat there, you can close it off as you're hitting it um, with the drumstick, and that's kind of the sound I was going for. And that's what I what I wanted to do, especially with these drums, is just create that realism. So that's kind of like a snare roll kind of thing. And um, that's one additive I used, kind of the same timing as um, the top closed off hi-hat there. And then I just kept this as a tempo. So it sounds like that somebody's like keeping tempo, keeping timing as a drummer would, um, but it's not actually a drummer and nobody actually played this. It was in MIDI that I played it out of these two VSTs. Uh, so. I hope this guy, I hope this helps you out a lot um, in trying to tune or make your own drums, make your own tune, I should say. Um, just so you know, when I create my drums as well, I, I just tend to look for things that are quite simple and basic, especially with a beat like this as well. I don't, I don't want to go too crazy overboard because, you know, how is a rapper going to get onto a beat when there's just crazy drums going everywhere? You know, there might be some beats that want that, like maybe a Rick Ross beat or something, I don't know, your, your trap kind of stuff. But with this kind of beat, it's more a laid back sort of style beat that you can definitely have a rap on it. And um, I actually planned it with a rap. I haven't actually got it on there yet, but um, it's something simple and basic. And then, you know, later on, go and once you've got your rap, go and tweak stuff if you want, add your, add your fills in there and things like that. But try and keep it basic and as Craftmaster says, uh, keep it basic and uh, well, <laughs> pretty much just don't be, don't be stupid about it and keep keep things basic but make it sound good. You know, uh, I I would recommend the same thing. I would just say that you know, in in creating any drums that you have, just just try and keep them as basic as possible, but make them sound real and fresh and and make it flow with your beat and just make it sound like you wanna you wanna do something like a rap to it or something like that. So. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel and hit me up in the comments if there's anything else you want to see about this beat or any other beat that I've made or anything to do with mixing or mastering for that fact. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Otherwise, peace.